It's time to throw down a face down. My favorite card, Elemental Hero, Flaming Wingman. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Yu-Gi-Oh GX duels of all time. Club Punisher. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we'll be looking at the best duels that transpired at Seto Kaiba's special school dedicated to a children's card game. They'll be judged on how memorable, epic, and impactful they are in the story. Also, since some duels include integral plot points, a spoiler alert is now in effect. Number 10, Jaden vs. Chaz. Almost like deja vu, our young and somewhat inexperienced hero is challenged by a rich, pompous pretty boy. <laughs> While this isn't the first and last of their duels, this marks their first public duel, as well as the introduction to Chaz's abusive past, giving him more depth than just a Kaiba knockoff. While of course Chaz loses to Jaden, it's the aftermath that helps to set the tone for their continued rivalry, with fans still cheering for Chaz. Of course, arrogance is always put in its place, and Chaz will have to star in Sliver Red. <laughs> Number 9, Jaden and Jesse vs Marcel Bonaparte. Two on one normally wouldn't be a fair fight, but Marcel isn't technically alone. <laughs> In a bid to rid the academy of the evil spirits and restore the student body, Jaden and Jesse set out to stop Marcel. While Jaden starts off the duel solo, Jesse returns with Rainbow Dragon in hand to back him up. It's not the first supernatural duel in GX, but it's certainly one of the more fantastical ones, as we see our two major protagonists struggle against this new demonic force and set the stage for even grander and natural occurrences to come. Number 8, Chaz vs Adrian. Rich Boy vs Rich Boy. That's what this duel comes down to. While the Yu-Gi-Oh! series has proven time and time again that money doesn't make a duelist, Chaz nevertheless gets upset that Adrian possesses more money than him and challenges Adrian to a duel in the sky. Hey, we never said that being rich doesn't have some perks. Each suspended by choppers, while the high-flying acrobatics of this duel is impressive, it's the exposition that really sets the duel apart, as Chaz hears of Adrian's past while at the same time hammering home how arrogant Chaz can be. Money can grant you cool gadgets and looks, but it doesn't buy you respect. <laughs> Number 7, Cyrus vs Makoto. Cyrus Truesdale has come a long way, from being the bottom of the barrel slifer red duelist living in his brother's shadow to a worthy obelisk blue student. <laughs> After Zane's medical condition worsens from his duel against Makoto, Cyrus steps up to defend not only his brother, but the cyber dark art. From start to finish, this is a duel that tugs at fans' heartstrings, not just because Cyrus has come so far, but the way he handled himself and the duel was outstanding. <laughs> to top off all the emotion, we get to see Zane give Cyrus the recognition he's always dreamed of. Number 6, Jaden vs. Aster. It's finally come down to this, hero vs. hero, in term of decks. Let's be honest here, Asta isn't exactly what you'd call a hero, or is he? We've seen a wide variety of deck types up to this point, but getting to see two of the same decks battle it out is pretty awesome, especially since we get to see a whole new subtype of the hero deck. Epic dueling aside though, this duel adds some backstory to the elitist Asta, showing that perhaps he isn't so bad of a guy after all. Guess you can't judge every duelist by the back of their deck. Kiero. 
Number 5, Jaden vs. Jesse. Yubel has been making things bleak at the Duel Academy for a while now, possessing other duelists to do her dirty work. After the possessed Jesse defeats Zayn, Jaden steps in to try and save one of his best friends in an all out duel. With both his and Jesse's souls on the line, this duel is heart stoppingly intense as Jaden's concern for his friends seems to nearly be his undoing. It's only through a draw that Jaden is finally able to confront Yubel once and for all. Number 4 Jaden vs. Zane. Zane is Duel Academy's top student, which grants him the chance to pick any student to duel him at graduation. Three guesses to who he picks. Kaiser, while we've seen Zayn duel Jaden before, their first duel was one-sided to say the least. With a whole year to improve himself, the two duel out again, helping to show just how far Jaden has come since his enrollment. <laughs> Top student versus main protagonist makes for an awesome duel, both clearly now on par with one another. The duel ends in a draw, making Jaden's first year and GX's season finale an awesome spectacle. Number 3 Zane vs Jesse Zane has won countless duels throughout his lifetime, even against our protagonists, but the possessed Jesse isn't anything like he's dueled against before. It's tough to watch this once top graduate now fight for his life, as his health rapidly deteriorates throughout the duel. We've seen Zayn be serious before, as he always appreciates a good duel no matter the opponent. Watching him fight in anguish as he realizes his time is running short, it's only right towards the end do we see the good old Zayn back, but it breaks our heart to see what happens next. Number 2 Jaden vs Yubel the Dimension World arc comes to a dramatic conclusion as Jaden takes on the demonic Yubel immediately following Jesse's release from her possession. Despite awakening his dormant powers of the Supreme King, Yubel is still able to oppose Jaden at every turn. Once his past life is finally revealed, Jaden makes the ultimate sacrifice by fusing his soul with Yubel's. This not only ends the duel, but saves all existence from annihilation. Number 1 Jaden vs Yugi It's finally come down to this. Jaden is finally moving up in the world after years of studying, exams, and battling the forces of evil. What better way to celebrate his graduation than by dueling the original King of Games himself? Of course, it wouldn't be a number one fight unless some magic was involved, as Jaden is sent back in time to face Yugi at his prime. Our two beloved protagonists battle it out, both clearly on par with one another. The level of fan service is something everybody wanted, and while the battle comes to a halt before the victor is declared, it is an awesome way to end the current series. Do you agree with our picks?